Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Wizards and Warriors for the NES Part 1. I was watching one of Game Hoarder's Menzo Baranzen videos, and he mentioned that he would like to see me LP this game. So this one's for you, my friend. I hope you enjoy it. I remember renting this game when I was a kid. I was expecting it to be a role-playing game, and was I in for a surprise when I first played it. So with that said, let's get started. The story of the game is pretty simple. Malkil, the evil wizard, has kidnapped the princess, and our hero, Kiros, must go out and save her. The first level is a forest stage, so let's go ahead and drop down here and get our first key, the blue key. There are also three different potions that you can get. The red potion, which I have right now, makes you invincible for a little while. There's a pink potion that makes you jump higher, and there's also a blue potion which makes you move faster. Damn it, I missed that branch. I was trying to jump up there. Now I'm just going to wait here for a few seconds. There will be a pink potion that will appear on that branch just above us. We need that to jump a little bit higher. Let's go up here and get the pink key, just like that. Now let's haul ass to the left and make this jump to get the red key. The object of each level is to get a certain amount of gems, so you can fight the boss. On this level, you need 100 gems. So let's go ahead and go in the blue door and do some exploring. Ooh, a treasure chest. I love free shit. One thing that sucks at the beginning of this game is that your attack range is so short. You might notice the blue acorn to the left. If you have the throwing dagger, you can crack those open and get extra items out of them. Yummy meat! The meat will heal you two hit points. Alright, we climb to the top. Let's go through the blue door. Ooh, I see a treasure chest. Let's get it. Ooh, it's the dagger of throwing. Now I have a projectile weapon I can throw at the enemies. Makes the game a lot easier. Let's jump over here and go in the gray door. Ooh, a treasure chest. Let's get it. Alright, some more gems. Another cool thing about the Dagger of Throwing is you can retrieve items with it but you can't retrieve items dropped by the enemies. Another treasure chest. Let's get it. Ooh, it's the Boots of Force. You can actually kick with the Boots of Force if you hit the select button. Now let's jump on top of this bug to boost it to the top of the trees, grab the treasure chest full of gems, Run over to the right, there's another treasure chest. It has the shield of protection, which will block some projectiles. Since we have over 100 gems, let's go ahead and drop inside the tree trunk. Alright, more free shit. These bees are really annoying. They just won't leave you alone. Also, when you hear the music change like that, that means you're about to die. More free shit. It's the Wand of Wonder, and I have no idea what it does. I never use those items. Now let's jump inside the gray door and fight the boss. It's a giant skull. Watch out, giant skull. You're gonna get your ass kicked. 
you might have got me this time, Giant Skull, but I'm going to get my revenge. Quit bouncing around like that, asshole. You're dodging my attack. Once you defeat a boss, they will leave a pile of treasure, grab the treasure, and you complete the stage. Well done. Thou hast rescued Lucinda, the distressed damsel. So now we have reached the second level, the Blue Cave. I don't need that meat, so I'll save it for later. I might need it then. This is a pretty hard jump, but you can make it, so let's go up there first. And what will you find up here? Our first key, the Blue Key. Now let's go collect some treasure. Alright, it's some gems. Ooh, another treasure. It's some more gems. You can always use those. I see another treasure chest underneath of us. Let's go down and get it. It's the Potion of Levitation. This is very cool. Hold up and you will levitate. You can also jump from that point and you can also attack. Let's go down here and check it out. It's the red door. We don't have the red key, so let's not worry about it now. The guard to the right is blocking the boss's door. It looks like we need a hundred gems and the pink key, so let's go find them. Let's go up here and see what we can find. Looks like there's just a red treasure chest up here, and we don't have the red key, so let's leave. You can't make it up there with a normal jump, but I bet if I would have levitated and then jump, I would have made it. Let's go ahead and grab the pink potion and make this long jump to the red key. Now let's start opening some more treasure chests. Alright, some more gems. Now I have over a hundred gems. All I gotta do is find the pink key now. Let's go down to where we saw the red door earlier. More free shit! More free gems!
And what do you know? There's the pink key. Hey, I'm like Mario. Now let's drop down and get those two pink chests. Some more gems. And some more gems. Now that we got over a hundred gems and the pink key, let's go ahead and go to the boss's door. The boss on this stage is the vampire bat, so what I like to do is just run to the right as fast as I can. Once you reach the end of the room, turn around and start kicking as much ass as you can. The bat's pattern is pretty simple, just make sure when he swoops down you jump over him at that time. Keep doing this until he is defeated. Once you defeat the vampire bat, be prepared to fight some purple ghosts. Kill them, grab your pile of treasure, and leave. Well done. Now has rescued Esmeralda, the distressed damsel. So this concludes J.D. Classic Gamers Let's Play Wizards and Warriors for the NES Part 1. I want to thank you again for watching and be sure to stay tuned for Part 2.